York. Can you hear me? I'm a little jealous. I'm all alone on this side now. But don't worry, York. I've had it easy for so long having you with me. I need to get used to being on my own. One more thing, York. I hope things are going well with Emily. You've always been horrible with women. I gave you tons of advice during your last relationship, and you ignored all of it. I'm sure Emily will take the lead. Just don't fight her. Let her steer you in the right direction. York, tonight I'm going to sleep like a baby. Zach, it's over. All finished. It's time for you to leave town. Are you ready to go? Then this is goodbye, Zach. Thank you for everything. Good night, Zach. And sleep tight. What's that picture? Oh, that. We took it when the clock tower was built. Fifty years ago? That's right. That's me in the middle. I was pretty popular back then. Men were always around me. Sorry to keep you waiting. Just sign here, please. Mr. Morgan, 
Mr. Morgan. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Polly. I was just thinking of a friend, someone who was with me for a long, long time. He must have been a really good friend, then. Otherwise, why else would you remember him at a time like this? Indeed. We used to fight, but he really was a good person. He's gone now, though. Gone away, to a place where we can't meet again. I'm sorry to hear that, but if he's a friend of yours, I'm sure he's getting on just fine. Thank you, Polly. You know what? I think so, too. Did Emily die? No. She became the goddess of the forest. Even now, she is still in the forest with York. She watches over the world from there. Emily became a goddess. That's right. Isn't that a lovely ending? Hey, Grandpa. Can I ask you something? What kind of person is York? York. He's a real nice guy. He's been a good friend of mine since I was small. Like Mr. Teddy? Yes, just like Mr. Teddy. A very important friend. What's your grandfather doing? I don't know. He's calling me Emily again. Oh dear, he must be losing his memory. You are Louise, honey. Michelle Louise Morgan. Not Emily. You know that, right? I know my own name, Mom. I know you do, baby. You're just so lovely, Louise. I'm sure that's why your grandfather mixes you up with a goddess. is the goddess. I don't know, dear. I'm not much like your grandfather. Is there even such a thing as a goddess? I believe so, but I've never met one. Mom, you're so pretty. You look like a goddess. Oh, thank you, honey. If I am a goddess, then you are an angel. <laughs>
believe those stories that Grandpa tells? You believe them, Louise? They're all just made-up stories, dear. All fiction. Like your picture books. So all my picture book stories aren't true? Oh, don't twist things around, Louise. You just want to know everything, don't you? Here, take this dinner to your grandfather. Go on while it's still hot. Mom, I understand what Grandpa's talking about. I've got Mr. Teddy, just like Grandpa's York. <laughs> Very nice, dear. Now off you go. Hold it straight or you'll spill the soup. I've got it.
Zack, it's great to see you again. How many years has it been? I've been close to you the whole time. You probably couldn't see me, but you felt my presence nearby, right, Zack? I never thought you'd get married and have a family. Quite a surprise. I spent years honing my profiling skills, but I never saw that one coming. That's what makes humans so interesting. And that's why I just can't leave you guys alone. More than anything else. Seeing you look so happy is the best thing I could ever ask for. Anyway, Zack, did you see the newspaper today? As it turns out, over the last three months, there's been a string of bizarre incidents near New Orleans. Residents there are reporting a sudden strike of nausea, and then they completely lose control of their bodies. Some have already had two months of only being able to walk backwards. Does that make you feel anything? It makes me feel something. I know you feel it too, Zack. Okay, Zack. I thought that's what you'd say. Well then, it's time to wake up, Zack.